This is my YouTube review video preparation in three easy steps. One, do the research. Two, save the research. Three, prepare for the review. I wanted to create a video that shows the basic steps that I go through whenever I'm going to prepare to do a review. The first thing is doing the research. And so if I'm doing reviews on software and stuff, releases, launches, launch jacking, they call it. I don't like the name launch jacking. To me, it has neg negative connotation, but I guess in truth, it's not negative once you find out. When I do research, one of the first things I do is I go to a website called munchai.com. And if you notice, I have bookmarks and folders of bookmarks and stuff all really mapped out and structured because it just helps to have things prepared. I go to Munchai and I find something that's going to be released that interests me because I like to review stuff that's interesting to me. Uh, I like shiny objects, but I'd rather do a review about them and not get suckered by them and hopefully encourage other people to not get suckered either and to know what's going on. What I think is cool is there's a lot of information here at, at our fingertips. This just sounds funny right here. Cash cow. I mean, it just got my attention. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I like to use Google Chrome and I like to use the tabs. It just makes it easy for me. One thing I do lately is I right mouse click on everything or a lot of things. I say open the tab. It just depends on what I'm trying to do for the research, right? I know I'm going to want the JV page so I can look things over and see what's going on. Sometimes JV pages have sales pages. Sometimes they don't. And here's the funnel. I like to capture this information. So I might be doing screenshots and stuff like that and save the images and put them somewhere in particular. So I like to look at the information and I'll probably do a review of this. So I'll save these pages. I like to get the sales page if it's available. So the sales page isn't here yet, really. I'll get all of the pages that I want to have open when I'm actually going to do the review and I'll open them up. I'll open all the tabs up here. So when I have all of the tabs that I want for a review that I want to look over and have ready when I actually do the review and everything, so I'll right mouse click, bookmark all the tabs. And if I have a sales page open, I'll have it open as a tab. Some of the software actually has so that you can go into the software and check things out. And I'll have that tab open also. So I save all of the tabs that are open at the same time. I'll have a way that I name things that makes sense to me. Now I have a method to my madness. So I'm going to copy what I just typed in. And I'm saving this in a folder where I put all the bookmarks. So what happens is later on when I'm ready to actually do a review, I'll open Google Chrome and I'll go to that folder and I'll say, OK, here's a review that I want to do. And I just right mouse click and I say, open all three tabs. And it just automatically will open all the tabs for me so I can go ahead and get on with my review and get things going. Make sense? So I do the research, open all the tabs I want to save save all of the tabs into the same place, right? Right, so do the research, save the research. That's do the research. And then I saved all those tabs. I bookmarked them in the same place. And I saved the research. And now I'm going to prep for the review. And prepping for the review, I might have tabs open and sales page, and I'll watch the videos, and I'll look at the information so I understand what it's about and everything. Then I'll come over here, and I have a folder where I keep a copy, a base copy is what I call it, a prep this copy, right? And inside of this folder, I have some stuff that I use over and over. So here's my folder for preparing to do a review. And in this folder, I have my base review text. And this is like an outline or a script, however you want to look at it, of what I want to do. Let me just show you how I use this. And you see there's a PowerPoint here in case I want to do screen captures and then just put them into a PowerPoint. There's a real easy way to do that. Maybe I'll make a review and or maybe I'll make a video and show you how to do that and everything. And this says OTOs if needed. The reason I do that is because 
in an RTF, it's a file that Microsoft Word will open up. I can have columns and stuff, and you can paste images and everything in there too. And so part of my preparation might be putting information in that Word document or in a PowerPoint presentation, so I'm ready to go. So just to recap, we did the research. We saved the research by doing the bookmarks and everything, and then preparing for the review using the outline and the script or whatever else we need. What that involves ultimately is I'm going to come to a folder that I have that is basically a folder that has files in it that I reuse over and over, including a script or an outline for a review. And the first thing I do is I copy this folder. I just duplicate it. Earlier, I copied what I call the name of the bookmarks and everything. And so that way I could just paste it in right here because that's what I want to call this folder. And then I open it up and I'm going to open up my script or, you know, outline. And right here, name here. I'm going to replace that. You can guess what I'm doing already, right? I mean, this isn't rocket science. And now, in my script, I have everything I want to do, basically. So, you know, this is my honest review of Cash Cow. Hi there, I'm Victor. You know, please subscribe to my channel and all of that kind of a thing. But something that really helps me is when I'm trying to gather all of my thoughts after doing all that research, or maybe I watched all the videos and the sales pages, and maybe I went through all the training to see what I think about it and everything, and I want to put together my thoughts, it really helps me to have an outline or a script that I kind of fill in the blanks almost. I'm not completely filling in the blanks because look, I have structure here. So the first part is just the title of the video and everything, you know, some YouTube video SEO stuff and all of that kind of a thing. Some kind of a call to action maybe and I'll probably update this script and make changes as I learn how to do it better and everything. But for right now, this is what works for me. So I, I do it. I have my basic links. So what happens is when I fill out my script and I'm, I've been doing three steps, right? I, I do a review, I review the sales page, I do some kind of a demo, and then I give my recommendation and ex explanation everything. Well, part of the steps is right here about the product, cash cow. See, I did that fine replace, and then I just go and I fill in the blanks because it helps me. What's the product about? What is it? And I just replace this, da 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 Who's it for? What's the sales page say? Is it for newbies and all that kind of a thing? the sales page itself, my opinion about it. And I give my opinion about the demo itself. And then anything I need to consider, or bring up or remind everybody about from the sales page or doing the demo or whatever, right? And then my final thoughts and then I give it a scale rating, one to 10 kind of a thing. And then when I go, after I record everything and I'm actually gonna go ahead and prepare the YouTube video to make it public and everything, I actually come back here and I copy all of this and it becomes my description for my video. Now, I know all of that will change as time progresses. I've seen some cool descriptions out there of people that are doing a great job and actually making money online with YouTube videos and everything. And they don't have all of this kind of a thing. They have very condensed um, bullet type descriptions and times and links and all kinds of stuff like that which is really cool. I don't know what's the ideal thing, but I wanted to go ahead and make a video and maybe this can help someone out there, even if it's just getting started, even if you just need some step-by-step -step to keep it simple for now. I hope you do awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Once I save everything here, I just, I save my information and what basically happens is if I'm going to do a review like tomorrow on Cash Cow, for example, and I'll come in and I'll open all the pages for Cash Cow like I showed you earlier, and then I'll come over here, I'll open up my folder for Cash Cow, 
I'll go ahead and get my script open. Maybe I print it out, depending on how I do it. I probably won't be on camera, so I'll have I'll have the script on one screen so I can record the other screen. And it just makes it super easy and straightforward to do everything. If I have a PowerPoint, I'll open it up and position everything so everything's right where it needs to be in, in the place on the screens. And just dun, dun, dun. And so just as a quick recap, you do the research, save the research, prep for the review, however, whatever works best for you, have your review basics ready. I have a folder, I have a bookmarks folder, I have a script outline, other files, find something you want to review and prep it. Go to the website, the product, sales pages, whatever pull together everything, save all the bookmarks, make a copy of your base review prep folder and prep that. Copy the folder, rename it, open and fill out any scripts or outlines you got that you want to do that with and everything. That's it. I hope these three steps can help you and I hope you like this video. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. Ask me any questions that you have in the comment section below and I'll respond to you.